Cue up the cure and start blasting some Nine Inch Nails. We have a brand new figure to talk about from the 90s comic book and the movie of the same name. Let's talk toys. Welcome back, everyone. Toysh is here, and I am back yet again to give you guys another fresh look, courtesy of my friends over at Diamond Select. And today, we are totally checking out their brand new The Crow action figure, of course, based on the Brandon Lee movie of the same name, which is, of course, based on the James O. Barr comic book. The Crow is the tale of a young musician, Eric Draven, who, along with his fiance, is murdered on the eve of their Halloween wedding, and he is resurrected from the grave, and goes to get his revenge it's very cool that movie rocks here's the barcode if you need it this will be in more comic book type stores right now and there is a walgreens exclusive version which we will discuss later on in this episode so sit back relax grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee this is a look at the brand new diamond select the crow action figure and here's Eric Draven out of the packaging, and we'll just start it right off. He comes with his own gravestone. Very cool to see. I love that they included this in there. You even get a crow that nestles right there on top. That is sculpted beautifully as well, but you got the nice dirt base. It stands well. It's sturdy. It's painted all the way around, so... Very well done. The crow is removable. You two little holes at the bottom, and then you have the peg holes on the crow. So he fits in there really nicely. Just get the two, and he's snug. He's not going anywhere. So that is awesome. I love that they included that same thing with the guitar. Now, this plays, you know, a heavy role, of course, in the movie, and nice guitar. This is painted beautifully the strap is nice it works with the figure i'll show you in just a second it goes on him and it it's beautifully well rendered well done guitar same thing he comes with the bullet hole hand from that scene in the movie and i just think that it photographs really really nicely and i'm glad that they included it they didn't have to go all bloody and everything else but he's got the bullet hole hand from when he gets shot by the drug dealer guy so that's awesome i love the accessories because they all make sense Get yourself a NECA stand, though. This guy doesn't come with one, unfortunately. But the crow itself, his, the, the figure, is fantastic. And I'll show you right here. He comes with this more flying crow right here. And you can't really attach him anything. But if you hook him on just right using his hair, it works. It's not the best, but I'm happy with it. And you'll notice a hole in the bottom of this crow. There is a Walgreens exclusive variant version. He doesn't have the trench coat, comes with a weather vane and a stand and a different head portrait, which is actually a, a really good head portrait, I think, as well. I have not seen that in stores, but the hole on the bottom is for the crow. You can peg him into the stand. So this one doesn't come with it, but hey, I can hook him right onto the shoulder. So I don't mind it at all. In terms of how this figure is, this is pretty well done. I don't have any crow action figures. NECA have done them in the past, McFarlane, multitude of action figure statues and everything else. And I'm very happy to have this one and have it be a really good one. I mean, he's even got the wedding ring sculpted on there right there around his neck, the costume, the boots. The boots are really, really nice on this guy. He stands really nicely. The articulation is at the 16 point mark, of course, but... For my tastes, I'd say that he does everything I think the crow should do in terms of posing. So he does have nice articulation in the shoulders. He's got single jointed elbows, but they spin along with the wrists. As far as underneath, under his trench coat, he does have, he has an ab, like, you know, you can rotate him. I think that that works more than anything. It kind of goes back and it kind of goes forward. He also has a waist. It's a little bit stuck on mine. So just go careful with yours. But he does have a waist as well. He can kick out. The knees are good. He does have thigh swivel as well. And that's hidden very well within his pants. He will swivel at the knee. And he's got boot rotation up, down, side to side. So again, he stands well. He looks good. He poses nicely. He does all the crow type things. And the head is nice as well. And he's got the long hair, so you can't really look up all that much, but he can look down. And looking at him straight on, I think the one thing is that the head sits maybe a little bit too high. I think that's the one aspect of it. 
but it really doesn't bother me at the end of the day, just because I'm having a lot of fun with this figure. You can slip the guitar right on him. It goes over his head really nicely. The band works with you, and you just kind of position the hands however you want them. I just do it real simple, just like this, and he can rock out on top of a rooftop, right? Singing his ballads and his tunes. This is cool. I'm glad he holds it as well as he does. That is awesome. Yeah, that's that works for me. Swap out the hand to have the bullet hole hand. Easy peasy. That works as well. And it looks good. You can get a lot of great photos using that. Hey, you know, Diamond Select, you want to make the drug dealers and everything else? Yeah, later on. <laughs> sure, why not? I think that this figure came out better than I was really expecting. I just kind of saw this and thought, oh, it's the crow. But now that I have it in hand, it's a fantastic figure. All of the accessories make sense. The articulation works. It's a great figure. I can't uh, tell you enough. As far as scaling wise, he is at that seven inch mark, so he'll be taller than most Hasbros. Here he is with the other new Diamond Select Jack Sparrow. He scales well. Spawn, I mean, that's immediately who I thought. I'm like, like, that would be a cool team up or just put him on the shelf. That's very cool to see. Batman as well. The McFarlane Batman, that scales Nicely, this is the Greg Capullo. Again, it's just having that fun on your toy shelf. NECA with, you know, all these Halloween type figures. Yeah, he's going to go great. Again, all of the accessories make sense. The tombstone, the way that the crows fit on the tombstone, it would have been nice, I guess, to kind of have the stand for the other crow, but it fits on him and he stays and it is sturdy. So it doesn't bother me as at all. I think the face is a little bit between Brandon Lee and then the comic book by James O'Barr. So I find it to work on multiple levels for me. Yes, I would have preferred multiple head sculpts. I might still check out that Walgreens one if I find it because I like that more like sinister looking face that that one comes with. But I think this is a home run knockout. I think this is great. If you're a Crow fan, you're definitely going to like this. But I'm curious to know what you guys think. Comment below. Let me know. Let's talk everything The Crow. And thank you again to Diamond Select for sending this guy out to give you guys this fresh look. And I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most importantly, remember, Eric Draven, just whisper my name in your heart and I'll be there. And when you do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios. Adios.